it. Today was kind of a spontaneous video. I was actually going to film a like really cool toned tutorial using the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette because I just really wanted to do something cool toned because I always do like orangey warm toned looks. And then right as I was sitting down to film, UPS came and delivered this little baby, the Urban Decay Back Talk palette. I am so excited. This was sent to me uh, in PR and I wasn't sure I was gonna get it. And I'm so happy I did because I really, really wanted to give it a go. You guys know I'm all about the mauve rose tone colors. That is like my jam. That is where I like to live, is in the rose toned land of love. And so this palette has some beautiful rosy pink tones. We have a nice chocolate brown. It's just like a beautiful pink rose toned palette, neutral, taupey love, loveliness, okay? You do get eight shades on this side. It does have this removable mirror right here that you can take out. It is dual sided, uh, but the palette doesn't close without it. That's kind of what holds the magnetic like closure is right in here, but you can remove that. And then you have two blushes and two highlights on this side. I'm wearing almost every color in this palette with the exception of this color right here and this. Other than that, I have all those shades on my eyes. And then for the blush, I went with Double Time and then this highlight. Back Talk is probably one of my favorite shades out of their lipstick line. It is their comfort in their comfort matte formula. This is what the lipstick looks like. It's also what is on my lips. It's that perfect pinky, pinkly, pinky purple mauve tone that you guys know I'm obsessed with. And yeah, so this is what the whole palette was basically created off of was this little beauty right here. So they created this gorgeous palette, face and eye palette. And I'm gonna show you this look I came up with just kind of like on a whim. Um, and then they also came out with these new Hi-Fi Shine lip glosses. They have a ton of different shades. Some are more opaque cream shades and then some are these cool iridescent shades. So the one I wore today is called SPL. It's just a really pretty iridescent color and it just kind of gave a little pop to the lips. You know what I mean? So this was fun. Totally was not expecting to film this. Literally was had something else completely in mind, but it was kind of fun doing something pink. And although I love mauve, I usually stick to mauve on my lips or on my cheeks. I don't really do it a ton on my eyes. So it was really fun kind of doing something a little bit brighter, a little pink and uh, I'm kind of digging it. So if you guys wanna see how I got this look, make sure you stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new and give this video a thumbs up and let's just get into the tutorial. So I started out by blending the color Back Talk into the crease with a big fluffy brush. I'm not too sure why the first part of this was not filmed, but I'm basically putting it all in the crease. It's a beautiful, rosy, pink color. This matte blended beautifully, it was very, very, easy to blend, it wasn't patchy, it wasn't dry, it was very creamy. Then I'm going in with WTF, which is a really gorgeous, warm tone, kind of brown, camel -y color. <laughs> it's absolutely beautiful, and I'm using a, um, still a fluffy brush, but it's a little bit more tapered and pointy on the tip, and I'm really blending that into the crease, kind of keeping it right in the socket and a little bit towards the lash line in that outer V. Then going in with this e.l.f. brush, it's one of my favorites, and the color 180, which is a chocolatey, shimmery brown, and putting that in the outer third. I really wish this palette had a nice, matte, dark shade, but all I had in this to work with was the shimmery brown, which is still really pretty. I just don't love doing shimmers on my outer third um, and kind of blending that to deepen up the crease. Then I'm taking a flat panel brush in the color Shade, which is a really beautiful kind of uh, magenta, purpley, shimmery pink color. It was really pretty. It was not packing on very well with a brush or with Fix Plus, but I did find if you use your finger, you do get a lot better payoff. I also found that this had very minimal fallout, which was really, really nice. So I had to keep packing it on and packing it on. Then going in the color Curve, which is a lighter kind of rose gold pink and putting that on the inner third of the eye.
And now I'm just touching up with 180 again on that outer third of the lid. And then a tiny bit of WTF and running that in the crease just to kind of blend it out a little bit. The matte shades in this palette are phenomenal. The color three sheets is kind of a sh uh, satin matte, I guess. So there's two mattes and this one's a satin matte. I had to really pile this one on to really make an impact, but it might be because it's so close to my skin tone. Then I'm taking the Marc Jacobs bronzer and I'm just kind of bronzing up on the perimeter of my face and I'm going to be doing this also to my cheekbones just to give a nice, you know, bronzed effect. I was looking a little flat with my foundation. Going back in with my finger and just touching up that color shade and the color curve. These are a little bit finicky. You do have to um, keep touching up if you don't want it to fade when you're blending out some of those other shadows. Then taking the color Double Top or Double Take, which is a really pretty warm red, well, reddish pink. It's very pigmented. I barely dipped my brush into the palette and it was very, very pigmented. And then the color Party Foul, which is a beautiful highlighter, as you can see here, has a gorgeous glow to the cheeks. I really liked this highlighter a lot. The color Low Key is also really pretty. It just was a little bit dark for my skin tone right now, but the color Party Foul was beautiful. And then a little Fix Plus, and I'm popping that same color Party Foul into the inner corner just to brighten it up just a titch. Then I'm taking the pencil in Demolition and I am tightlining my waterline and then taking 180 and smudging that along the lower lash line. And this is a Makeup Geek small crease brush, I believe. And I'm really blending that out. And then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of WTF and blend it out as well. This is one of my favorite liners right now. It is the winged liner from Lottie London. I did a whole video on this. Gives you the easiest winged liner in less than a minute. But I also love that it's really matte and really black. And so just a very simple line. Then I'm taking Charlotte Tilbury. This is Pillow Talk Lip Liner and I'm lightly lining my lips. And then I'm gonna go in with the Back Talk Lipstick. Beautiful, beautiful, mauve rosy pink. This is a very, very pink look here that we have going on. And I just love the formula. It's very comfortable and it's a gorgeous, in my opinion, everyday pink. It's not too bright, not too crazy. And it's just absolutely stunning. A little bit more on the cooler tone, but it's pretty. Then I'm taking these new glosses from Urban Decay. I'm just popping that right in the center of my lip and it gives a really pretty juicy lip look. Hope you guys enjoyed. So that is it for the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would definitely say that I think that the palette is really, really pretty. The shimmer shades on this side just seem a little bit stiff and they don't pick up a ton of pigment with a brush. So I would say for the shimmers, you may wanna use your fingers. I feel like my fingertip did get a better payoff, especially like on this brighter pink shade. And even Fix Plus didn't seem to really do much. Uh, the mattes are really pretty though. I do like that um, color back talk, which is what the palette is inspired by. And the shade WTF was also really nice. Um, this one called Three Sheets is like, barely even shows up. I mean, when I swatch it with my finger, I definitely get some payoff, but with a brush, I feel like I didn't, like I was trying to pack it on there for my brow bone. So I think the colors are stunning. I think that uh, the shimmers are really pretty if you can get them to work for you. Um, like I said, maybe just use your finger, which is not my favorite way to apply shadows, um, but it does get the job done and I think that it turned out to be a really pretty look. And then the blushes are really pretty. Obviously, I just used the one in double take, but I'll swatch this one for you. This one is Cheap Shot and that's a really pretty purple, more purple toned blush. That's pretty. Uh, Low Key is a gorgeous shimmering like a shimmery peach color, and then I'll swatch Party Fell. So those are really beautiful as well. First color, Three Sheets, is really pretty, but you really have to pack that on. These next two shades, Bare and Curve. Curve is what I put on the inner, um, like third of my eye. And even with Fix Plus, I didn't find it was super vibrant. I really had to like kind of use my finger to pack that on. The color Back Talk is a really beautiful, uh, mauve pink and I felt like that blended really nicely into the crease and then shade which is that bright pink that's on my lid 
Definitely felt like that applied much better with a with my finger than it did with the brush. I did not use Attitude. Uh, this color in WTF blended beautifully in the crease. And then this color 180 also blended really nice for it being a shimmer. It actually kind of worked in the outer V nicely. Um, although I would have liked like a dark matte shade. So I think it's really pretty. I feel like the shimmers are a little stiff, but the palette is just aesthetically so pleasing to look at, isn't it? So pretty. And as far as fallout, I felt like it was very, very minimal. So I think this is a beautiful palette. I don't know if the formula of all of the shimmer shades are as good as some of their other shimmers in other palettes, but it's really pretty. And I really like the look that I came up with. They're definitely workable. So have you guys picked this palette up? What are your thoughts? Let me know down in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this more colorful, rosy, mauve colored tutorial, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.